What's up guys, it's Jason over here at Cock. If I'm gonna tell you about this awesome find we found on Craigslist, y'all stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Jason over here at Cocker Farm and I want to tell you about this awesome find we found on Craigslist. Y'all know us, you keep it with our channels, we are Craigslist Kings, eBay Kings, Thrift Store Kings, we do all, I mean we find a bunch of stuff at great deals and this time we found this vintage honey spinner or honey extractor. It's a four frame, a great great deal, 50 gallons by all means I really don't need anything this big, but a four frame honey spinner in working condition, nothing wrong with for 175 bucks, come on. But check this thing out. Now the guy that owned this said this was his grandfather's and I'm pretty sure he's right because this thing's fairly old. Now the motor looks brand new and I'm thinking the motor is brand new, but the this, all this, this does looks looks fairly old and I'm guessing that this motor was was added extra. This this this, this was an original. Somebody came back and made this made this setup where you can put a motor. Now there is a hand crank to it and it is I got it too. Now this is probably original. Now we were looking at getting honey spinners because you know we were hoping to to possibly get into to the bee business hopefully and you know you can buy El Cheapo from China for you know 100 150 bucks it's a two frame that's hand crank that's made out of pot metal it's got plastic it's not like this no you know, we got super lucky as, you know, you, you have to really get lucky. But uh, let me give you some tips on, especially Craigslist. If there's something you want or are interested in, check several times a day. Check every day and don't give up. Be patient. If, you know, it may take you five weeks, it may take you five months, it may take you five hours. You just don't know, but be patient. As you know, like I said before, we've, we've gotten really lucky. A lot of our chicken processing equipment we got off Craigslist. Um, I recently got some vintage antique hand meat grinders that I'm going to use that I got off Craigslist. All my vintage um, knives that I use for butchery actually came from the Goodwill and eBay. So just be patient and, and you, there's a little bit of luck involved, but if you check all the time, then you know you got a better chance of of finding great deals we were the first people to jump on this and that's how we got this lucky on this one like i said it is a four frame your frames are going here and it'll hold four of them so you take your your b frames set it in here here's the motor it'll plug in you cut it on and it's going to spin and I don't think it spins that fast. We're fixing to plug it in and check it out. But when it spins, it's going to sling the honey up against the wall and it goes down. And then you got this valve over here that opens and shuts. And that's how the um you, you pour your honey. Now this is um it's got a way you can sit up and mount this on something. Because you definitely want this taller so you can get your jars underneath this. This feels like it might be frozen. I'll have to. Nope. Oh, there it went. It's not. It works. Cool. So that does work. Um, in the pictures, it's saying it looked near this big. But it is big. But. Go big or go home. Let's plug this sucker up and see what it does. So definitely it works. It does gotta be mounted to something. That's why it's got the little L brackets with the holes on it now to keep it from 
doing what it's doing. Uh, I just somehow I really gotta put it up on something. I'll figure all that out. But this thing I'm so stoked about. And I, I'm really stoked that it is old and antique. You know, it's got a story behind it. I could have I could have used this thing a week earlier. Let me tell you why. Keeping over that channel, we recently got a got looking, got a whole bunch of bees. Now we got these when it was super cold and we were told by the local beekeepers not to open them until it warmed up. Well, it warmed up a few weeks ago and we were able to go inside of them. We had one hive and one nook that were empty. There was, there was nothing in it, but there was, there was nothing wrong with the uh, honeycomb and it looked perfectly fine. It was capped honey and so, so about two weeks ago, I took it and I got the honey out of it the old fashioned way. The way that most beekeepers would have frowned and probably would have got upset that I did it that way. But what I had to do was is I didn't have a spinner. And I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on one not knowing not knowing if we were going to be able to do all this or not. I just didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money and then I didn't want to buy El Cheapo and it tear up. So what I did was is, is I just, I got a spoon and scraped out all the honeycomb and, and then took a cheesecloth and strained it and hung it on a bucket and, and got the honey out of it. And we got some around two and a half gallons worth of honey. I had to get the honey out and I didn't have a spinner. So I mean, I didn't have much of a choice. So you know my old saying, do the best you can with what you got. And that was what I had at the time. And, and who knew that two weeks later that I was going to find a four frame honey extractor on Craigslist. But now, next time I extract honey, I can do it, you know, with it and save that comb and use it to go into the beehives. But all in all, the bees look really, really, really good. Um, we put some beetle traps in and I added some boxes on there because they, they, they were ready to explode it looked like so I gave them some more room we're gonna check them again this weekend if the weather is um gonna cooperate with us and maybe I can film some then and give y'all a better update on them but so far update on the bees is they look great uh, I didn't see any issues really but you know I'm no bee expert either so but from my rookie eye everything looked fine and didn't see anything that looked out of the ordinary they all look extremely active i'm guessing that's a pretty good sign all right boys and girls they say it's gonna get cool tonight we'll put y'all the light on so y'all can stay toasty hey guys i hope you liked the video if you did give us a thumbs up can't wait to use this thing and show you how this sucker works and also for the subscribers out there if you're not getting updates when I post a video, hit that little gray bell and it'll send you a notification when I do post a new video. We're trying to do two or three a week. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like. As always, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll catch y'all in the next one, guys. Y'all be good. Just remember a Craigslist. Patience and being persistent. The PPs. That's how you find deals on Craigslist. Patience and persistence. Just keep looking all the time and don't stop. Honey. Honey.